Joshua required 36. Game shot and Josh match. Payne gets Josh what he Payne. needs. He required the points. He's got the points. It's a two. Gary required 127. Well, he saw him get a 147 yesterday. Will the 127 go? Game shot yes, the second is the answer Gary Stone. for the break back for Gary Stone. And it is one apiece. And you sense that if anyone in the bottom half of the table Third had the potential to, to be a spoiler today, this man was at the top of the list. Oh, he's at the very top of the list when you one look at what he's producing. That's his 21st 180 of the week. He has now got... Cameron will apply Gary pressure on 98. But it is Gary's glory the in their Gary opening Stone. game of the day. A victory for Gary Stone by four legs to one against David. Through with that extension. Gen require that 112. That sort of explosion of the hand. You see there's the fingers sort of flicked off to the side. So a double double attempt. It's not one that he would have gone for. He's throwing a nice the big high one to stay out Jam the way Bambi. of the treble. Didn't want to start us four times so far this Game week. Shot and he and does match. level up Jam Bambi. with Graham Musher on the best. 81, 81 after nine against the darts to win his star. Well, yesterday we saw Josh Payne hit a free first dart on the 81. And they went double 19, double top. But Gary Stone Game, goes double 18, double and 12. Match. And it Gary is the same Stone. result as that for Josh Payne. And the recovery there after three very wayward darts. Pressurizes this for Josh. He's got one dart left to level it up. Two. Or Contamon is coming back for 32. the match. To add another twist to this compelling race Game to win shot. Group A. January required 40. Game shot on the second leg. Which is Julie Dunn. 2-0. January required 32. Double 16. Game for GVV. For a 4 victory against David Cameron. Which you require 32. Game and Cotman does and the see out the match Alion and claim a 4 2 victory. Well, a little bit too hard 88. against him because people don't seem to play their best against him, which is credit to him and the work that he has done away from Game here to earn that respect. And, the match. and one Jam thing he's got there is a 4 0 victory. And he's just 64. doing what he needs to Josh do. Require 104. In the legs in which he's had the darts at the minute. Go on the 16's route. So double 14 for 2 1. Game shot. On the and that third seems leg. to be the new modern way, isn't Payne. it? To go for one. Requires 60. Significant moments coming up for both David Cameron and Jean Van Veen. Tops. Game, and shots, Payne and may have put pay Josh to Payne. Cameron's chances of progressing through Group A. That 4-1. Gary requires 72. Game, and once shots, again, and it is Granite. Gary requires 110. 110 for Usher. Double 18 to level this game, game up. Shot on the second line. Lovely keen, clean Graham kill. Usher. And how ironic is that? 40. But can he see the job Game, through? Shots, yes, and the is match. the answer. And so David Cameron's chances week for this finish. 48. Gian, you require 170. The treble 16 means you can get it. Start at top, you get two goes at it. It's only one way you can go for the fish, and this would be a moment of inspiration for Jean Van Veen. Game, because in a leg, he's leg. looked completely Jean out. Going to get two more. Game, and shot, gets it wrapped and the match. up Jam with the last start in hand. He resisted the fight back from Josh Payne. That's now north from seven on the doubles. And he may not get another because Contiman's going to get one at double 16 and he takes it. Ali and and it just looked so likely for Five. the match. But is he going to get a go at it? Because Cameron here, 75 for 3 2. He's going to get. A dart at tops, 35. which is Ali, pitched above 40. the wire. And so Contiman wants that exact target.
for a 4 1 victory. Two tens. Game shot. To seal the game the match, for Ian Cotterman and David Cat in sheer disbelief. 32. So Josh Payne McCoy returns to double 10 to end his Group A campaign with a win. Game shot. And a win and it match, is to finish Josh up Payne. for Josh. One hundred and seven. And that would have been absolutely Graham spectacular. And they've been the minuscule chances that he's been left because Game of the brilliance the of this man, way. Graham Usher. Graham Usher. hundred and one and a half average. Take this final game of the day to a final leg. Game and he decides to go leg. for the ball and bend the ball. A fantastic one six seven for Jean Van Veen. And we go all so the way the final leg. It's to Graham's the deciding leg game on. in our final game of Group A. Ball, Graham. Nah, too conventional. Double 16. 34. Maybe you should have gone for the ball. Jan, you require 52. So then 52 to see it through for Jan Van Veen. Game and in Group A, and the he has been Jan the Van man. Van Veen is the... Hi there, welcome back to the Modus Super Series where Jan van Veen has just completed qualification for finals night with that victory over Josh Payne. Uh, Jan, you were flying in the game, 3-0 up, but eventually got over the line. Did you know you only needed to win three legs? N not really. I knew it was four points ahead and a couple of legs, so I, I thought just give a couple of legs. And of course you want to win, but of course maybe a couple of legs or two or three. And then I got, of course, I finished at 170 in the first leg. and. Then I knew, OK, it was possible as well. And, yeah, of course, I, I'm happy to get the win. Well, let's get confirmation of that group table. Uh, still has another game to play, of course, but is already through six points clear now of Josh Payne and David Cameron. Cameron, who hasn't won a match yet today. You were top of the table after the first day. He yeah. was top of the table yesterday. Could not have gone much better today, could it? No, of course not. You know, I felt great today. I didn't play particularly well all, gay, uh, all day. Uh, well, I played good against Orion, but then the next game I got... As I say, I got lucky. My opponent's missing some doubles, but I, I was there to take my chances, and and happily I did, and I qualified. Yeah, and going into that last game, um, yeah, you said you knew you might need two or three legs, but a win was the most important yeah. thing, and no better way to start <laughs> it than this brilliant 170 checkout. Taking it out here, a fabulous finish, and Josh was waiting on 56. Was that already a bit of a turning point in the match yeah i think so I, uh, especially uh, with josh you know he missed loads of doubles today and, and yesterday as well and with no disrespect but i think that got in his head as well and of course he was on 60, 56 now so he didn't miss anything yet but uh, w if you feel it's against you and then your opponents hit the 170 well you only hit one treble the whole leg mm -hmm. and then i think yeah that's bit of a turning point during the game as well, yeah. We mentioned when we spoke on Monday, Minehead last Friday, uh, South West Europe qualifier of the weekend, then back here. For you in particular, is it a great week to get two days off now? Yes, for sure. You know, I said that uh, I felt that after Monday, it felt a bit tired, uh, creeping in. And then, of course, I was on top. And then yesterday, I finished second.